I want to talk about one of the differences between the AXJs and the N4Js. That is the I.O. The AXJs had I.O.s that were N the I.O. They directly connected to your J's. Let's say here's an AXJs and of course here's an I.O. And you would directly connect your I.O. to your J's and you can connect another similarly. And you mount it to the panel. Fairly simple. And from there you can discover the I.O. This is in the AXJs type. Now, but the N4Js, things changed a bit. So, the N4Js now has not NDIO, but an RIO, remote IOs. It's good in some senses. What happened is now you have network IOs. You simply tie into your Js, and wherever you wish to put your MSTP, you can put that IO. Say, for example, you have um, your JST on the first floor and you have a AHU on the second floor. You can run an M MSTP to the second floor and have your IO there for that AHU unit. So in this case, it's, it's great because you don't have to put everything in the panel like the AXJs. So that's one of the benefits. You can have the remote IO wherever your MSTP wishes to be and you simply if you have more than one you simply daisy chain the remote IO that's a benefit the drawback well years ago we had controllers that were on a network you had a main controller and then the other controllers for the units were more dummy controllers they didn't contain brain they didn't contain any sort of actual functions, they were simply taking everything from the main controller. So in the network cut, you will have units just go right, they, they'll just go down. And that was a big problem. So they began making more smart controllers, putting brain inside of smaller controllers. So even though you have a schedule telling the smaller controller what to do, if the schedule breaks, the smaller controller still have a brain and your unit continues to run. It doesn't shut down. The IOs are similar. The brain, of course, is our J's, the N4J's. The IOs, however many you may have on your system, they don't have a brain. They're simply IOs. So it is wise that you keep the IO a bit closer to your J's because if someone, as you know how it goes in this business, cuts your MSTP, that unit that that IO is serving is going down. It doesn't, the IO doesn't have any, any, any brain. It doesn't, it doesn't retain any memory. So that would be one of the drawbacks, I would say. Keep your IOs close to your J's so that the risk of cutting your MSTP and losing what that IO is handling is less. I prefer to keep my IOs in the same panel <laughs> as my J's, in which case they'd have to shut down the panel or you could find the problem really quick because it has to be inside the panel if of course your IO stops doing what it should be doing. Aside from that, it's, it's great to have the option of moving your IOs around with the, the new JS N4.